Conius here. Today I'm flying from San Antonio, Texas to Corpus Christi, Texas. I'm flying a Beechcraft 350i King Air. Our flight level will be 3,500 feet. And let's go ahead and get started. Take off the parking brake. Adjust the barometer. And let's go. A little hard to keep the plane going straight. I did adjust the pedals, they do seem to be better overall. Alright, let's go ahead and lift off. Landing gear up. Flaps up. San Antonio Tower KH Tree Tree Niner continue for south departure. Alright, so we're already on course. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on autopilot. Turn on the yaw damper. And we should be good. It's doing a minor course correction. So let's go ahead. Go ahead and go outside and look around. Okay, so this is a lot more scenic than most of my southwest flying so far. This is very nice. I just went through and tweaked all my graphic settings trying to get above 30 frames a second, so it's somewhere between 35 and 40, usually. If I go much higher, I really lose definition. I really wanted to have that photorealistic video look and not have any obvious artifacts. Alright, so the co-pilot is dealing with the tower. Looks like a super populated area. Wow, look over to the left. Air seems very clear. Okay, we can probably uh, throttle up a bit. I'm actually, now that I think about it, I'm actually above the altitude I wanted to go to. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull back on the throttle. Let's stop the acceleration. Alright, I'll go ahead and turn on flight level change so we'll get to our target. There we go. Beautiful body of water up here, actually several. Above our intended altitude, still got the throttle way down. Uh, 
but we'll get there. It's working on it. I'll just double check what the panel says here. It does say 3500 flight level change at 135, 133 knots. So, it's about what we're doing. I can probably descend more if I pull back on the throttle a little bit. Oh, were you really that low? Wait a minute. Okay, so that surprises me because... I thought we started out about 500 feet off the ground. When it says landing gear, that means you're, I don't know, within 1,000 feet or something. <laughs> so maybe the terrain changed? gonna check the barometer. Yeah, that didn't make much of a change. Alright, let's go back inside. I'm going to go ahead and just set altitude hold mode here. Alright. Now we can throttle back up. We shouldn't gain any altitude. Just have to be careful I don't throttle up too much because I have a tendency to overdo these settings over here, so just to get this up as high as it'll go without those exceeding. Oh, there's the generic right there. Very close. I wonder if that is a real flight? KTVI sounds like a radio station, TV station. Maybe it's a helicopter. Look like real tail numbers, not uh, you know, mine customized. Starting to hear some wind up here. So we're basically heading out to the coast, I guess uh, the Gulf of Mexico coast. So I thought it would be nice to actually fly up along the coast, up towards whatever the next desti destination is. Looks like agricultural land as far as the eye can see. Okay, we're up in uh, too fast territory here, so let's just drop this back. I'm going to go mid detent on the throttle. It's interesting that the reset external view is a little bit offset. I wonder why it's just a little bit off. I don't think that's something I changed. Let me switch to the drone. I'm going to try the drone follow mode, or let's see, what is it called? Lock mode, that's what it is. So that'll keep the view locked on the craft. So it's very much like the external view. Although I can change altitude as well. So that's actually pretty cool to be able to see that. It seems like they really designed this for cinematic shots like this.
hearing a lot of wind. It almost sounds like thunder. Just looks like a little toy airplane or something. All right, well, let's go back to the plane. found a bunch of interesting canned views, so I wanted to go through those in flight at some point, so that's a pretty nice one. I need to find out what the, the buttons you press actually have to switch those. Alright, well anyway. funny that goes on with the multiple windows and reflections. They kind of conflict or something. I guess that's a graphics GPU thing. <laughs> that's kind of an amazing shot, actually. You can see the uh, reflections The external view, there used to be a bunch of canned things, see those anymore. And then on the inside, there are a bunch of views as well. Like nice to have some passengers back there. It's actually accounting for four passengers in the Copy airplane KH3 weight, but nobody's back there. So I need to learn how to switch all these views from the keyboard. It's probably a button plus a number. It'd be especially handy with the instrument views to be able to go quickly to a particular view I might need for something. Operative, so it doesn't matter. It's all inoperative down here. That's too bad. This stuff's operative on other planes. Maybe they'll fix that. Okay, I know you can play with the fuel. Don't need to do anything with fuses. Ah, yes, and then the lighting and batteries and stuff. Let's see what voltage we're looking at here. One, two, five decimal, seven generic, six delta kilo. Alright, well, anyway. That's fun, but let's reset the internal view. It does look like the avionics screens are actually kind of on the low side, so... Turn those up. There we go. Climb and maintain one zero thousand feet. Expect ILS runway one three approach by a skids transition. Clear to skids generic eight Fox Tron Hotel. Oh, is it kind of like this middle middle view? Uh, this panel changes when you move, which seems a little unnatural. Uh, stop moving. Okay. 
It's basically a reflection of what's going on in the rest of the map. Alright, back outside, reset the view. I see it's, still, it's tilted for some reason. That's very strange. Usually the external default view is straight back. Kind of seems like the plane is twisted. Even if you go, you know, if you look, we're not. Doesn't seem like we're going in the right direction. Let me just check that we're in nav mode. Yeah, we're in nav mode. So it's following the flight plan. <laughs> just things look a little bent or something for some reason. If I go straight back. So, in line with the plane, we're not on course. Okay, well anyway, I'm sure it's just a camera artifact of some kind. Same thing with the drone. Maybe the flight plan intentionally has us to the left of the destination for some reason. Alright, well, look around while inside. That looks like a very powerful engine. Everything is so nice and crisp and clean at 4K with the right anti-aliasing settings. I'm using the uh, TAA anti-aliasing. I found that without it, when you look off in the distance you see a lot of artifacts. Here it just looks like you're looking at video. You don't notice any anti-aliasing artifacts at all. So it's really, really effective. But I think that's partially why my frame rate's a little on the low side. I'd really rather have high quality than super high frame rates, but I do want it to be above 30 all the time. Reset the view. Okay, how far are we away? We're 50. It's not bad. I always have to remind myself not to use the left stick on the controller when I go outside because it will move the control surfaces. It's, the left stick is your flight stick.
go back inside. Get a little bit more useful view. Actually, this mini display here is very handy. You could totally fly it like this. Keep an eye on everything. feels reassuring as a pilot to have a backup digital system like this. It must be probably completely separate from the Garmin system interoperative, that's what I figured. But you can set the pressure, alright. people inside. I can do that with the drone. I wonder why the drone is all twisted up. Alright, let's reset. Yeah, it's off. It's again, it's kind of twisted. It's strange. It doesn't seem like the right reset view for the drone. Um, I need to turn off. Okay, lock mode's off. Alright, good. What I wanted to do was to drop into the plane and see the cabin with the folks inside.
don't know what track IR means. I've never been able to turn it on. Let's turn smart cam back on for a second. Let's see if this smart zoom, what that does. It just seems so interesting because, like I said, I've never seen it look like this. Oh yeah, it's going to keep those uh, in view the whole time. That's very interesting. I don't know why I'm fascinated by that. It just looks kind of cool. Alright, well, enough of that, I suppose. That's a nice shot, the sun. get the plane above the horizon along with the sun. It's kind of nice. Let's see if I can do that with the drone. Still inside the cabin. Uh, so I want to do reset. And I want to drop down. And look up. And pull back. You don't get the zoom with the drone, but you can go back. Quite the same, but still an interesting view. All right, so you know, we're getting very close to the airport. You can see the water waves, and it's like the Gulf of Mexico out there. I'm going to go ahead and set the controller down. Corpus Tower KH Tree Tree Niner is one one miles northwest of Gulf to land. Okay, let's go back inside. And take over from autopilot, and I'm going Fly to start us slowing down. Oh, there's the uh, landing pattern right there. Okay. Now we need to slow down a lot. Landing gear would help. Yep. I think what I'll do is I'll cross over, turn around, and come back. We're just going too fast. That snuck up on me. And we're having to lose a lot of altitude at the same time. But this doesn't seem too bad. I don't think there's anybody else in our way. Okay, so I can probably stop dropping altitude, and let's just turn, make a nice slow turn back to the opening.
can't really see it, but it'll come into view as we complete our turn. Okay, now it looks like it was a straight line of brackets the first time. This time it's appearing curved, so I'm going to see if I can resolve that. Might be an optical illusion. Maybe it curves a little bit. Anyway, I think we could head in that direction and then turn into the pattern. And again, a little bit of altitude just because it starts out a little higher. Thrust and level off. Prepare to turn into this pattern opening. I think all I really need to do is just start turning and I'll get there. So it's showing something different than I was expecting. It's showing those tall things again. <laughs> which is not the landing pattern I saw initially. I'm not sure that that's even our airport, so... I'm probably looking at the wrong thing there. That, those turned on when I had the smart cam enabled. Our airport is designated by that marker with the arrow in the middle of the windshield. Okay, there's our pattern. Alright, now it's starting to make a little bit more sense. I'm going to start dropping thrust. We're at a good altitude, I believe. But I need to get the flaps down. I need to slow down before I can do that. Alright, so I'll put them down halfway. 
push forward on the stick to keep from nosing up. And also we can turn in. Looks like this one might have a slight turn to it. Not very much. But uh, not completely straight. Okay, I'm going to de-thrust a little bit more. We're going to be descending, so we'll get some speed out of that. Yeah, now I'm going too fast. Okay, flaps down all the way. Alright, now we're going at an acceptable speed. Just need to watch the speed ticker tape, make sure I don't get too close to the bottom of the white line where the lift runs out. I'm going to give a little bit more thrust. We're not hotel. that close yet. And I would like to get centered in the landing pattern. We're also a little on the high side. Let's uh, nose down a bit and get centered. Get some speed out of the nosing down. Oh, I do see Point the aircraft on the runway. Interesting. Generic, 8 Box Trot Hotel, turn next taxiway. Yeah, you better get us butt off the runway. Generic, 8 Box Trot Hotel, contact ground, on 121 decimal niner. Clear to land runway, 13KH339. Alright, co-pilot acknowledging. Uh, I'm going to slow down just a little bit more. Yep, I knew I was going too fast. Alright, so throttle's at bottom. I'll bring it back up a little bit if we start to get a little bit too low, but we do need to slow down. Looks like it wants us to go below 110 or maybe 105. Thrust is necessary. More thrust. Trying to keep it in that little area between where we are and stall point. And I do need to get a little centered, a little lower, and get some speed by dropping a little bit. Okay, let's get a little bit more centered here. Alright, we've got the landing gear down already, so we're good that way. Alright, I think we're okay thrust-wise. I'm going to keep an eye on it because we might suddenly drop out here as we level off towards the ground. Yeah, we are starting to drop out, so let's get that up. Alright, and I always have trouble getting completely nice and flat and stable here when I'm coming in. I'm really trying to work on that. It does feel a little better this time. I feel like I can maybe float Float, 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 float as long as possible. And touchdown, hit the brakes. Okay, except for not being perfectly straight. That was actually one of my better landings recently. Going to one two one decimal niner, KH three three niner. 
Alright, so we need to get our butts off of the runway. Let's go forward here. Okay, probably just go this way, get off and contact ground. Yeah, I'm very happy with that landing. I've been having several bad landings in a row. That wasn't perfect, but it was not bad, I think. Um, couldn't keep the plane perfectly straight, but I did have a nice float on the ground. I touched the wheels down in the back, put the brakes on, and then the front dipped down, so it felt like a nice, nice clean landing for the most part. Could have been gentler. All right, parking brake on. Sometimes co-pilot talks to ground, sometimes they don't. I'm not sure when they actually do that. Taxi to park. Corpus ground, KH339, taxi to parking. KH339, taxi to general aviation parking via taxiway alpha. All right, here we go. Taxiing to general aviation parking via taxiway alpha KH339. Alright, so I probably don't need to give it too, thr too much thrust. I tend to drive too fast on the taxiways, so I'm going to try to keep it down around 20 this time. I think when I idle with the thrust all the way down, I will st keep going forward. A little bit of left braking, slow us down a turn. But this feels okay so far. We're a little on the fast side. As long as we're under 30, I'm uh, going to be happy. Got the flaps up. I often forget to put the flaps up, and then plane feels like it wants to take off while taxiing. Now, what's this truck doing? Does it know? Okay, good. And there's something parked right in the way here, too. I'll have to go around it. What is that? Looks like a vehicle of some kind. Can't really tell. Oh, it's a forklift. Okay. Yeah, so this is how fast you're supposed to taxi. Seems awfully slow, but it's really safe, I think. You can stop quickly if you need to. Uh, I'm slowing down a little bit too much, though, so let's get some thrust going for a moment. wonder how accurately this represents Corpus Christi Airport. Those jetways sure look realistic. Wow. Okay, yeah, the buttons don't look behind you when you're inside. Just instrument stuff. Do you have to be patient to be a pilot, I think. Although it does look like our parking spot might be just right ahead over here. It is. Okay, good. So we're close. Full throttle all the way back. See how much we can just sort of roll in here. I have yet to run over one of the helpers on the ground, so I'm happy about that. We're going a little fast. That's okay. 
not giving it any throws. That's a cute little tiny airplane right there. What is that? Is that a Cirrus SR-22? Maybe. It's really small. It looks really cute. So I can do a sharp right turn and pivot. That was a little, a little slow, a little slowing. Don't want to hit the fuel thing. All right, I uh, it's not a perfect entry into the parking spot, but. I think it's fine, really. That's where I'm going to park. Let's see how it looks from the outside. Oh yeah, that's fine. Alright, set the parking brake. And turn off the engines. I've been using the keyboard to turn off the engines. I don't know how to actually do that from the panels here. I need to learn how to do that. So maybe next time I'll try that. Alright, anyway, turn off the plane, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.